We call to order a member of the uh, meeting of the Board of Assessors on Wednesday, June 21st. My goodness, it's gone by fast. At any rate, we present, we have Lee Wickham and Russell French and our clerk, Lori Lucier, and our new member, not yet sworn in, but here, George Forcier, um, on Zoom. And so, let's see, we'll open the meeting, take attendance, did that. Um, our first action is to approve the minutes from our last meeting. So we have them here to read. Still, is that still there? No, it's not. I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Accept the minutes as presented. Okay, second. Any discussion or questions? Okay. Roll call. Roll call aye. vote. Russ aye. French. Okay, Lee Whitcomb, aye. Um, so it is unanimous to accept them as written. Um, and before we continue, I would like to welcome George, who was elected. Uh, at the June town election, and also to thank Roxy Heron for her service um, filling out Malcolm's term. It was a very busy year. She brought a lot of questions to the board, and she worked very hard. And uh, we certainly appreciate the commitment that she had to the job, and and uh, some of her work is yet to be finished, but we will continue with it. And uh moving move forward so well if i may yes um two things one a question um the minutes um <clears throat> excuse me are those available electronically are those passed around electronically or it looks like it just became available in print at the meeting i usually don't publish the draft minutes on the website i can well i was just curious i, I do it, well i they it, can be sent out to us well, no, no, all right. No, I just have to publish them and you can go on to the website and look at them. I guess my point was more about um, it looks like you guys just saw them for the first time, the draft minutes now, as opposed to having received drafts at home via email mm -hmm. ahead of the meeting. Everything's done through the website now. We don't do minutes like the planning board in a Word document. It's all the agendas and the minutes are all done in the town's website. It, it's set to do that and basically what I do for the Board of Health is when I'm done with the minutes I publish the draft minutes so the members can just go on to the website and okay. look at them if they choose okay. to. So we will be able to do that as well before the meeting. Okay that was kind of the point it, it looked like you were doing this for the first time and it suggested you didn't have access otherwise. The other right. the other thing to say I guess not a question is um Lori was good enough to hack me into the DLS uh, website earlier this week. So mm -hmm. I've taken a, a look at their uh, training area. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm going to start on that as soon as I feel like I have a little more energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. As, as you can, as you can, George. Well, I, feel, uh, I'll, I don't want to delay, but right now my energy levels are kind of low. So yeah. I just scope it out. It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's a lot to learn and it begins to fall into place. The pieces begin to mesh. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll find an interesting, rewarding job. Yeah, well, certainly just get, glancing at, at some of the material gave me a, 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 some appreciation of what you all are doing or have been doing. So well, pretty... there's, there's quite a bit to it and some of it becomes a little automatic, but, you know, easier, of course, as the years go by too. <laughs> But okay. always, always ask questions, please. Yeah, well, I'm sure I will, but 
right now yep. I don't even know enough to ask questions. So That's I'm just gonna <laughs> I'll just I'll just sit here and eavesdrop. Right, right. Unless you come up with them, you know, bring them along. You can call me here at the office or whatever, or email is great. And we'll work on your your education as we go along and then start getting out as we can too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, next order of business is new mail and invoices. We have a couple of invoices here. The <clears throat> SHI International, which is the billing agency for Tyler uh, valuation system, has sent their bill, which was for fiscal 23. That's the one that's all over. Right. In the amount of thirty nine oh five and twenty cents, and then CAI Technologies has sent their regular quarterly bill for map maintenance for four seventy five. So these are standard bills. We had already um, been aware of the contract price, and we also have next year's figure, which has gone up, but we budgeted for it. So these are not unexpected. They are going to throw us a little bit over budget. Uh, for the year, but I will talk to the finance committee and, and the selectmen about that. Um, SHI particularly came in, we had expected them to still be 37.75, and they went up to 39.05, but um, we'll do that. So if you'd like to look at those. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. But I know. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. And those are the bills that are outstanding at the moment. Um, this was our notification of the figure for next year. Uh, four thousand and sixty-one dollars to Tyler Technologies for our annual uh, subscription to the valuation program. <clears throat> that takes care of new mail and invoices. We have a few deeds here from recent sales, and um, there are actually four sales plus. Are they all sales? Or an administrative transfer. Uh, not in all sales, yeah, yeah. But a couple of them were not publicly advertised, uh, so they do not count as an arm's length sale. How were we as far as? Well, uh, we that's were very that's low. That's value compared to, <clears throat> compared to selling price. Yeah. I we're running low. Um, I just redid the last. Two years worth from July 1 of 21 to today for valid sales. And we're running at about 80% of the selling price. Our values are low. We're going to have to consider uh, an across the board increase again, probably, in order to get our values up where they need to be. The, the market has slowed down a little bit as far as numbers of sales are concerned. But the strength and the prices right, so are still that. strong, right? Right now, there are three properties on the market. Um, one another is under contract and due to close at any time. The uh, one of the three, I believe, has a is a contingent. There's three that are not. Have you looked at the the ones that there are? Three that are still active, and then there's yes. others that came yes, on the market. Yes, that these two are brand new, right? Yeah, and Sumner's is still right. wide oh, open. Oh, right. This one has disappeared from the market. It has, which tells me it probably has an offer. I agree. And yeah, in fact, she has a scheduled closing on it. Oh, which one is that? That was the old Kozowski place on North Poland Road, near her her draft field. Yeah, it's not until I think right. July at some point. And Mulvey's, but... of course, is under contract, right. and Roberts is no longer out on the market either. So that may well be under contract. The thing is, is that we haven't had a meeting in a month. So our new listings are actually no yeah. longer new listings. Well, <laughs> the top two are brand new. Yes. Good properties keep coming on the market and 
mostly in the mid range of the market. Um, they're asking anywhere from what is about 300 up to 650. And certainly the 300, 400 range is, is mid market these days. 650, you're getting up there, but. And these are all 20% below. I mean, they're asking yes. prices. Yes. Adjustment is. Yeah. We, we, we make a poster, George, with the picture of the property on it and the description taken from the ad. We put the asking price plus we put our current assessed value on there. So and that goes out on the bulletin board in the lobby so that people can see. Uh, where does that, where does, how are you notified when someone puts their house on the market? Through the multiple listing service. We check that every day. <coughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. We don't catch all of them. If someone is selling it by themselves for sale by owner, mm -hmm. we don't always catch them unless we happen to see a sign out or hear about it. But most of the properties we do, <laughs> we do a follow and most of them do go on. <coughs> Realtor.com. And then you make that poster for yep. the public's benefit, essentially? Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's for something to look at while you're waiting to come in and vote. <laughs> yeah, I've done that myself. That's right. But I, hadn't, but I hadn't really thought about who did it or, or for what reason. Yeah, yeah. And then after it's sold, we correct the poster and add the selling price, and it goes into the uh, GP room. To the bulletin board in the GP room, and that's okay. the, the properties that have sold. Mm -hmm. So people can see what actually was obtained for a price on them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yep. That's how we well, the more information we can put out there, the better. Yep. So next we have new building permits. Um, so no one just just sold. That's that's it. Um, that's it for the moment. Yes. Yep. Um, all right. Here again, nothing too too alarming in building permits, uh, renovation, install a bathroom, some new appliances, uh, gas appliance, siding repair. Of course, always thermo sealing and uh, insulation. We like, get a lot of that. There's a lot of we get a lot of solar. A yeah, lot of yeah. There's a lot of um, roof replacements and yes. Um, Window and door replacement right. in there. Yep. A big solar array. Uh, have a look. Have a look, Russ. <laughs> yep. Here again, we have access to all of the building permits that are issued for the town of Conway. Right. George. And so we're able to watch that quite carefully. <laughs> we pick up uh, changes in houses that way, as well as word of mouth as well as seeing contractors trucks out front mm -hmm. whatever yeah our strange foundation <laughs> we don't either there's no yeah permits. yeah 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 there's no permit running for that one right now I'm opposite the bank and but we see digging going on so wow. we're going to have to go investigate uh. we've been known to drive in and say hi there maybe it's a big giant subject or something right it looks like you're doing something new what's up uh, you all must, or we all must be so popular. <laughs> oh, we are very popular. Yeah. You know, people are courteous. They're they're cordial. They know we're trying to do the job. Yeah. And uh, if they have questions, it's a great time for them to ask us things about the job, about assessing, about their project, whatever. Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> you don't usually do that during the meetings. <laughs> no, that's a pretty good size solar array. Yes, yes. How many kilowatts is it? Uh, 25 panel ground mounted, 10,000. Like that's 47 panels on my roof. <clears throat> 46 panels. No, 47. no, 47. It certainly seems. The people now they've increased the the limit that you can put to one one and a quarter times your annual usage. Nine to one hundred and ten percent, or one hundred and ten anyway. Yeah, it used to be one hundred and five. 
And but people are putting in huge systems, um, basically as big as they can get. Twenty five well, panels is not unusual now. <clears throat> yeah, that's about the size of mine, which I had installed earlier this year. Mm -hmm. um, but that was to take into account uh, an electric car, which mm -hmm. sucks up a lot of juice. Or yes. alternatively, a lot of people, I'm sure, are going toward um, mini splits. Yes. And those also yeah. use a lot of electricity. So yeah, we see we yeah. see a lot of mini splits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Laurie has an all electric house. There you so go. Her that's why she's putting forty seven panels. Yeah. yeah. And electric cars electric are becoming electric baseboard and and mini splits is what we have for heat. So yeah, yeah. well, you, you, you need a lot of juice. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more uh, people putting in charging stations. A lot of generators. A lot of, a lot generators. of people putting generators. Yeah, in. hardwired yeah. generators. Whole house generators. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right there. Okay, that's our next. Uh huh. That's our next. Oh, look, I match. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm one good storm that knocks you out for three or four days, and boy, that full house generator looks real good. Oh, yeah. Been there. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. So if you can, I could drop those off at your house and you could look through things if you'd like at some point. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to put you out of your way, but it'd be nice to thumb through it. You can just yeah. leave it on the patio table and uh, sure. shoot me a note and let me know it's there. Right. I have a better idea. I can scan them and email them to you. There you go. Mm, that'd be great. Yeah. <clears throat> What are we talking about? Just the permits? Well, permits, um, front of the front page of the deeds. I don't know. The ads. Yeah. Okay. Um, next, we have one real estate abatement, which we processed and calculated at our last meeting uh, for Mr. Matus. And it involved corrections in his valuation of his land on Whiteley Road. <laughs> because of discussions with the Conservation Commission and um, the difficult topography and access for that particular parcel. So this is simply to sign off on the calculations that we did then. Um, we had one paper for the tax part of it, and uh, we already voted it right. at that other meeting. So this is just... Notified us of anything any different that he right. didn't like. I mean, he's okay. Yeah, so. I haven't heard anything. Right. Okay. And then there's another form to uh, abate the community preservation fund part of his bill. I take it that the, the abatement is because there's something about the property that makes it less valuable than previously yes. thought. Yes, yes. Um, largely the very difficult access angle from the road and the solid ledge there. It would require blasting to put in any kind of a driveway. And then our third document is the actual certificate of abatement itself. We don't want to go there, in my opinion, on that one. <laughs> In relation to that, the Conservation Commission right now is dealing with another uh, property in town down at the end of what I call Fields Hill Road Extension. Uh, Fields Hill Road now ends up at the top of the hill at mm -hmm. John Dixon's house, but there are three houses beyond that. And that is now a private road maintained by the abutters. Um, and there was an access agreement signed by the three of others and the Boydens, who own the land on the west side of it, that they all shared access costs and so forth. One property way down at the bottom did not sign on to that agreement and was sold last year to a gentleman who 
is trying very hard to use it. He has legally, it would appear, no right to get down that field hill extension to get there. Hmm. And Norton Hollow Road is all in the water district. He's using the utility right of way to get in yeah. and out. And when he was just using it for camping, it was one thing, but now he's building something. Yeah, he started a structure down there. Only about 30 feet from the river. Yeah, just down to the river. Uh, yeah, it's within the 200 foot border. There was no application. There was no uh, no building permit. No building permit, no okay. notice of intent right. through the mm -hmm. conservation, nothing. So we're going to be watching that situation very carefully. So right now it's the Conservation Commission that's taking yes. the lead on checking it into it. Yeah. Yes, There's that's right. Yeah. This is, this is a, they're supposed to. We don't have any. The, when you when you want to build something, in order to get a building permit, the inspector requires that the conservation commission has signed off before mm -hmm. he'll accept the permit application. Yeah. So that entire process didn't happen. Yeah. So they're backing up now to see how to sure. deal with it. So this is yeah. a person who who has a principal residence somewhere else. Yes, Duxbury. center of the center of the state, Duxbury. Dudley, I think. I thought it was Duxbury. Yeah. And uh, you know, was able to get it at a very good value because it was inaccessible essentially, but yeah. wanted to just be camping there with his boy, you know, and enjoy the, the beautiful sure. little piece of parcel. Yeah. He bought it sight on scene. Yep. Oh really? Wow. It's brave, brave man. Yes. Well, he bought it for a song and a dance. Mm -hmm. too. Yep. So we'll be watching that. Yep. Uh, next, we have two motor vehicle excise warrants. Um, this is the paperwork that directs Jan to collect the taxes that are listed on each warrant. Uh, the state sends these out. The huge one comes out in January with about 1,800 vehicles. But others come out, you know, as people buy cars throughout the year. Trade them. Or trade them or whatever. We'll get We'll get a new warrant for the new actions. Uh, generally, there are about seven or eight warrants per year to cover all of it. So we have two warrants here um, in the amounts of $182 and $585.06. Uh, I move that we um, approve them and, and sign them, send them on to JAM. Okay. Second. Any okay. discussion question? No, roll call. Russ? Okay. Aye. Lee Whitcomb? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And then the next process that comes along for some folks is the abatement of the motor vehicle excise for whatever reason. Um, they have not kept, they're not keeping the car for a full year, so they're out a portion of the year in which they don't own it or it's not registered. Right. Um, it can someone move to another state? We got two of those. Yep. Um, two vehicle, of those. Vehicle, vehicle sold or traded. Yep. Or just plain registration canceled. So they have filed their applications and uh, they are all in good order. And Laurie has been through them also. So we have six, six um, abatements for motor vehicle exercise to grant. And I move that we grant these six as, as listed uh, for the reasons given. Okay. Questions or discussion? Okay, Russ? Okay. Aye. And I vote aye. So here we start to sign. We have a, a summary sheet of all the all the abatements together. You have to bring a pen when you come. A pen? <laughs> yes, and, and it is true. Wiggle, wiggle the fingers before you get here, yeah. And then there's pens. a certificate for each person. So there are six of those, and then we have to sign off on the six applications. I'll bring a Sharpie. There you go. 
when we're doing chapters is when you gotta oh <laughs> they'll be signing about a hundred at a time wow these abatement applications for excise tax are submitted by individual um vehicle owners i take it yes <clears throat> Sometimes uh, it'll be a, a rental car, you know, a Honda or uh, they Le have rentals, leased, leased, leased cars. Leased cars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so the Honda ownership will, will submit it. But generally speaking, it's the uh, individual owner. Of course, Honda is the individual owner. But <laughs> start playing with that. Cut on my thumb. I keep scraping on it. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it, and everyone is watching me. <laughs> in TV land. I can play with my finger now. Okay, and now let's see. Let's sign the applications. Six twenty-one. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of people who live just outside the Conway borders, but their mail is delivered by the Conway postman. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes the registry will get that confounded yeah, and have them listed as garaging the car in Conway. So we always have to do a few of those. And then there are hey. <clears throat> the ones like um, up in the north end of town in the southwest whose mailing address is Williamsburg or Schubert. Yep. And so they always end she up being in separate batch. Yeah. Um, age old problem in Franklin County. The car, yeah. the car resides in South Fairfield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I was just looking at. Yep. <laughs> Oh. Really loving this new stamp. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That is nice. Okay. Um, next, we have other business. Um, and I can report that I did a DOR webinar a few days ago. Um, it was on working on the recap, which was good. The recap is the annual analysis of all of our financial affairs, George, that goes to the state in order to set the tax rate or to approve the tax rate. And so every action that was taken at town meeting is in there. Um, reports that the accountant fares on different areas, debt exclusion, that type of thing are in there. And then we put in actually the final values and um, other sources of income aside from taxes. It's quite an extensive report and it takes a while to prepare and I'd like to have it done by the middle of August so that there's plenty of time for Jan to for it to be approved by the state and for Jan to um, be able to get the bills processed and ready to mail by October 1st. Mm -hmm. She likes to mail them in late September if possible. Yep. So um, they've already published the telephone values for 24. Uh, we had received that from the state. They There's a central valuation system for phone and pipeline utilities. Of course, we don't have any pipelines, but they value the phone systems, the poles, the wires, uh, machinery, 
a work in progress and they send it out to the towns because quite frankly, that's beyond our realm of expertise. And so we have figures for MCI communications, uh, MCI Metro Access Transmission and Verizon. They haven't changed a great deal, but we do have a little bit of new growth with Verizon. They had replaced something, wires or something here in town. And every time they bring in new material, um, that counts as new growth for us. Um, we do need to get visits in to the Habitat House and to Drinker before the end of this month. Okay. Yep. Uh, we can do them late in the afternoon now because it's light so much later, which is great. Um, Roy Bishop already has some of our electrical in there. He has Eversource, but I need to send him the Western Mass Electric information and he'll do the values for that because that is a very complex formula that the state developed. Roy Bishop is our contractor who comes in for revaluation to do the commercial and industrial and to advise on the residential. He also does these specialized values every year. Uh, he does the hydro hydroelectric plant for revaluation. And he was the one who developed the pilot program for taxes to be paid by our large solar array. Uh, that's all set out in a contract now, which is nice. We don't have to do that. But um, so he's available to us as needed. <coughs> yep. Let's see. One of the things I was looking at in looking at the difference between our values, taxable values, and the sale prices was looking at some of the ads and seeing where the differences lay. And uh, there are always a few little details um, that need to be checked. And so I printed out a couple of houses for us. Um, one has a sauna that we hadn't had listed before, so that's new growth. And we had had quite a discussion in recent months about effective age and its impact on taxable value. So I looked at these two properties with regard to that and they both vary from what was in the account. So I think we'll need to have a good discussion and get down to a new chart or make sure that we're in order with our old chart, uh, especially if we're going to do a conversion to a new program, a new valuation program. The money was passed at town meeting to cover the cost of that. So it's available to us. There is a demonstration next Thursday, a new program that's coming out in the state uh, for valuation. And I'd like to see that is before that we- Is that the QDS one? Yes. Jan said that as good as they are at QDS, that in the beginning, there were a lot of issues. Yeah. Lots of issues. Right. And there still are. Yeah. It's a new program. They're beating it, you know, to get all the bugs out of it. I have no idea yet if that's something we want to look into on a serious basis or still consider conversion to the Patriot Valuation Program. Um, which is proven. Which is an old, you know, it's, it's been used by many, many towns for many years. Um, aren't many bugs left in it, that's for sure. And it's a much more open program and that you can see where your values are coming from. One of the problems we've had with Tyler is that we're not able to see very well and demonstrate to, 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 to a property owner. Hey, this is where this figure came from mm -hmm. and how they all add up. And we want more openness there. We want to uh, be able to have a, a person understand how their value is being calculated. And we've had a lot of bugs with the Tyler program. That was a program that they adapted, tried to adapt to Massachusetts. Um, right now, the support people are good tech people, but they tend to not know Massachusetts assessing or assessing period. Um, they know the program. So that's been disappointing. And How long have we been using Tyler software? Since fiscal 21. So three years. 
Okay. Prior to that, we had about uh, 18 years with the state program developed by the Department of Revenue. And that was a marvelous little program, um, very straightforward. However, the Department of Revenue said, we really are not in the business of providing mm -hmm. valuation programs. So we're phasing you out. And the 75 towns that were left uh, that didn't immediately change to something else were sponsored by the state for this Tyler program. The state picked up a lot of the cost, um, paid for the training, paid for the first year subscription. But it's down now to about 30 towns left with it. The others have left and gone to something else. Patriot. Mainly, mainly to the Patriot program. Yep. <coughs> well, uh, Patriot's been around a long time. Yes, they have. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And they certainly know Massachusetts. <laughs> That's huge. Yep. They're so you're having you're having this discussion now because uh, your sense is that Tyler's not the outfit to be using going forward. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, after the bills go out would be a time to do a conversion mm -hmm. if we're going to, to be ready for fiscal 25. We had originally planned on doing it to be ready for 24, but yeah. that's not going to happen now. <laughs> no, 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 it's not going to be ready for 24. Yeah. It well, takes a number of months to do a conversion. Yeah. Well, that was the original. We were originally right. planning on doing this, yeah. this past spring, right? like early, yeah. late winter, early spring. Yeah. But um, I want to be sure that all of our Tyler data is in good order, that our effective ages are consistent um, before we do a conversion, because they'll take that data electronically mm. and load it into the new program. That was, <clears throat> that was part of the problem going from the state program to Tyler, is that Tyler didn't bring over items that it should have. Oh, yeah, there were a lot of glitches. Oh, wow. A lot of glitches. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we want to make sure it's clean going in. Yeah. Um, now that's all that I have on my list. Do we have any public comments? Is anybody with us out there? I can comment, but <laughs> I'm the only quasi-public here. That's great. We have no public. We have no public. Oh, OK. The only thing that I want to bring up is I still have that motion. Oh, right. There's still a motion on the floor from a prior meeting. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, I, would, it was I, having... I guess I would like to withdraw it if that's... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, this is up for, open this for was, discussion. This was a motion that came up with our mm -hmm. conflict of interest issue. And you moved... You restated? Was this the last, was this the last meeting in mm -hmm. mid-May? Or was it the one prior, prior to that? So it was the one on May 3rd? I believe so, yes. I think so. Yep. Well, I move that we have a private um, contractor. contractor check all, of, all, all the assessors' private homes. Yes. For evaluation. I can get the exact wording. Right. And so that motion was brought forward and um, held for further action. And so now you would? Well, now I feel that we, I can withdraw it and we can. Mm -hmm. The three of us have, can... have another discussion about sure. the whole same situation. Sure. OK, so you move to withdraw that motion. Yeah. OK. I mean, if that's what. Have you That's, got any reason to do anything else? I haven't, no. I second your, your motion to withdraw. And I think that, um, yeah, we can have a good discussion about that probably at our next meeting. Uh, well, this hopefully I can be there in the flesh and officially yeah. Yeah. Uh, sworn yeah. in and um, I can participate yeah. however I can. Right. <clears throat> right. So that'll be good. And then hopefully we can get it all done up and taken care of and in good order and promptly <laughs> done. Yeah. 
So, okay, that means uh, we have to any discussion or questions. Okay, roll call vote. Um, Lee Whitcomb, aye. To withdraw the motion, Russell French? Aye. Okay. The motion is withdrawn from action. What else do we have? We try and keep our meetings moving along. We I don't want to go over an hour. But. We haven't had a meeting end sooner than seven seven thirty. Uh, I know it. Year. I know it. So this is our our goal to get back to. This is nice. But <laughs> discussions are important. Um, yeah. We also occasionally plan work sessions here, George, mm -hmm. um, where the three of us are getting together at the computer to sit and go over figures. You know, discuss this that or the other condition quality um it is a posted gathering because we we have a quorum and but it is a work session rather than a formal meeting mm -hmm. and uh we can determine values and actually vote on them there but we generally bring them to the meeting to vote yeah. are those work sessions on a regular schedule or ad hoc no, they're they're as 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 needed, and um, we'll be getting into them certainly as we as I'm working values in the next eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because I'll mm -hmm. find come across something that is different than what I thought <coughs> and needs to be seen by the board before any change is made in the value. Yep. Yeah. How many? I know we have to have everything in by July 1st on the new growth with the new houses. Right. So how many? We're, we're in pretty good shape. Um, we should get back to Poland section if we can. But the two big ones are the Habitat and the Drinker. No one else has put on a big addition that makes more than 50% difference in the value. So we're okay. If we can see those two, we'll be good. And then other new growth will pick up as as is. What about Marissa Smith's voice? We have heard that already. I know, but, but we'll have to yep, look at it as of stay. as of July one and see what's finished. And there. July one is coming up. I know in it is a week and a half, and that's yep. why I said that because I yep. know they've done a lot more. Oh yes. Which one? The uh, Smith, who's it? The new one. Oh yeah, yeah. The we have a provision here, George, that any property that is in a state of major change, if the value by July 1 is going to be 50% or more higher than the value that was June for uh, January 1st, we can use the July 1 value. It's a called supplemental assessment. Mm -hmm. And so we have to look at projects and say, is this one going to be going to add 50%? If so, we need to look at it. Um, so there are three or four, and we'll try to get out next week. Um, uh, actually, maybe this week we'll see what we can do for time. And that helps a lot because a lot of those are, are good sized projects that are difficult to see in the winter. And mm -hmm. now we get the extra value as well as having the benefit of the weather. Yep. So what else? All right, nothing. Yeah. I got nothing. Okay, me either. I got next nothing. I'm, I'm not. Re is. I'm not recovered yet from the past couple of weeks, so right. I got nothing. Yeah, our next meeting would be Wednesday, July fifth. Yep. Well, oh, at five fifteen here. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, yeah. I'll see if, if we can if we can make um, a couple of efforts next week at the end of the day to get out and see these properties. That would be really terrific. Uh, you'll check your calendar of us. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm all set for yeah. next week. Good. George, do you have days that are not possible for you? I mean, your George, teaching schedule. George has you mean in, you're talking well, about I know. I mean, when you're well. When you're well. About, you're right. talking about in general? Yeah. Um, the, the only set pieces of my schedule at the moment are, <laughs> excuse me, planning board meetings, which tend to be Thursday nights, mm -hmm. twice a month, 
Um, right. But other than that, um, historical society stuff tends to be Tuesday nights. Right, um, right. And those are the only set pieces. Everything else is, is you know, moving parts. Okay. Yeah, good, good. Some flexibility available there. Oh, yeah, quite yeah. a lot. It's right in for them. Wednesday is good, you know. <laughs> that gives you yeah, no, I, that was a... a I'm lucky for you guys because when I considered yeah. running for the seat, it, uh, that's one of the first questions I asked was when do you meet? Sure. Uh, so Wednesdays falls nicely right between the other two. Oh, so regular good. regular meetings are good. And the other stuff, I have a very flexible schedule. Good. Good. That's how we try to do it. We have to have it posted two days ahead. But, uh, you know, Russ, Russ has commitments. I don't have many, but uh, we do our best. Yeah. We, we do not have to post when we go out to do a site that's visit right. that that is not posted. Right. That makes it easy. Just have to contact the people and, and make an appointment with them. Yeah. So I guess we'll wind up and close our meeting. Move to adjourn at exactly 6 p.m. Well, there you go. A second? Second. Voila. All right. All right. Well, nice, nice, to, to see, nice to see you. Yeah, yes. yeah, I know. I wish welcome, it was under welcome. better circumstances. but um, It'll be good to have you here in person, and yeah. we'll get the, uh, you're at the course 101, and I'll get the data collection manual to you. Uh, which yeah, is whatever whatever you literature you can send my way would be a big help. It's uh, time I, to source. I, got a, I have a nice binder here for you. Don't worry. He, well, okay. don't vote to adjourn. We can't vote. You did that already. We voted? No, I say we can't vote. He can't vote. That's right. No. Cannot. Right. So that's completely right. Yeah, well, so. he he could he could vote. He can vote on administrative things. Yes. He can't vote on financial things right. until those first <laughs> I think, four chapters. Yeah. Are done. Well, send me any literature my way that uh, will be helpful. And meanwhile, I I will uh, follow through on the DLS one hundred and one program. Fantastic. That's All perfect, right. George. Thank you. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. I hope so. I hope it, I hope you'll enjoy it. We we've been doing it a long time, and we're still here because we enjoy the work. Yeah. Okay. I'm All right. Sign out. I think. So I yeah. Find the button. Right. We'll say good night. <laughs> good night. There is. Take care. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye.